How are we going to feed 10 billion people by 2050? While combating and mitigating the effects of global climate change. The solution can be found inside this plant. Plants use sunlight to transform carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and water from the soil into sugars and oxygen. These sugars are further converted into food, wood, materials, even fossil fuels, if they spend millions of years trapped in the Earth's crust. This is called photosynthesis, and it's the most important process on Earth. In agriculture, however, photosynthesis is an underachiever. The ancestors of our crops originally prospered in the wild, but when farmers planted them in their fields, these crops never got the time to adapt to this new environment. Their photosynthetic capacity was never optimized. What if we could optimize photosynthesis, double its efficiency? Well, it would dramatically boost agricultural yield and food security and produce enough biomass to replace our fossil economy with a bioeconomy. That could completely stop the release of fossil carbon into the atmosphere and the increasing agricultural productivity would capture and store large amounts of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. So, what's holding us back? We already know how to optimize photosynthesis and several successful projects have shown how this could happen in practice. We are ready to bring together Europe's best scientists, double crop yields, make these crops climate-proof for the future and available worldwide. Join us and become part of the next green revolution.